This is me, Serena. <laughs> now the family legend has it that according to my mother, I love the water so much, I could swim before I could walk. That seemed like we lived in a fairy tale then. My mother was the queen of the sea, <laughs> and I was her little mermaid. We even turned my room into our own secret underwater garden. Now we would often go to the sea together to hear its song and play in the waves and the sand. <laughs> oh, my mother and father gave me so many gifts, including <laughs> the gift of a little brother. Life was magical in our kingdom. <laughs> Then one day, a dark spell came over the queen, and all of our love could not save her. And very soon, my mother was gone, and my fairy tale world vanished. Thank you all very, very much. This is a very special day for me because a man's daughter only has one quinceanera and this man only has one daughter. With deepest gratitude, I say thank you. Thank you for coming to celebrate my Serenita's 15th birthday. And I believe that the first dance belongs to the father. <laughs> Are 
this one yet? <laughs> what are you up to? Sit down. Just leaving people's best wishes for my sister on her birthday. Hmm. What do you have to say? Sirena, feliz quinceañera. This is Coach Sonia wishing you a great day, a wonderful year, and a fabulous life. Luisa, how do you say Serena? No, senora. Speak English, please. Ah, si, sí, senora. And I hope you enjoyed those two weeks off to prepare for this party because swimming season starts on Monday and then you belong to me. So here's to some great victories in the swimming pool this year. Okay? Happy birthday. How's that? That's amazing. Cool. Yeah, cool. Okay, bye. <laughs> Joseph, what are you doing with that hat? Oh, my God. What is it you forgot to shave this morning? Oh, Joseph, look at your tie. You're simply unpresentable. There, now go have fun. The name's Pepe. Oh, Rico, Rico, Rico. You call this scampi? <laughs> no, they're skimpy. Now do something about it. At least I wasn't the one who signed the subway contract, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta talk to you for a second. <laughs> you look beautiful. Have you seen your daughter? Darling, people are about to leave, and I just want her to be here for our little surprise. Wait a minute. Try her room. Yes. Okay. Bye. Yes. Oh, my God, Rosa, I love it. This is great. Okay, open mind, Serena. <clears throat> Serena, come oh, on. Okay, okay. Take it. I know you're going to love this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's a. All right, give it to me. Okay. Serena, it's a combination cell phone holder and compact. All right, you put your lipstick in here and your powder, and brushes have separate slots over here. I hope you kept the receipt. What's that supposed to mean? It's the last season. We have made a beautiful party for you. Can you please come downstairs and tend to your guests? Sorry. 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 I'm sorry. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, everybody, look at me. Psst, hey, hey. Lester has something to say. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Minerva for a beautiful quinceanera celebration. And to you, darling. Thank you for making me so proud. All the accomplishments you've had in such a short life. In the eyes of the world, you're a young woman. But to me, you will always be my little mermaid. Yes, Serena. You're the little mermaid. I know the sea riches. <laughs> this, uh, this whole day is about you. Because uh, we wanted to let you know how much we care and love you. But since we have so many friends here, we would like also to make a very special announcement. Uh, Nestor, darling, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, after our long and beautiful courtship, <laughs> I've got the Nestor to realize that he can't live without me. <laughs> We've decided to get married. <gasps> we are going to get married. <gasps> A month from today, right here. And you're all invited. <laughs> Get 
out? You mean take that thing off? I can't. I'm a merman. Ha 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 ha. Shut it off! Shut it off! Hey, be careful! That was Mom's! I don't care! Thought you'd want to listen to it today. Well, I don't, okay? She made them so we'd remember. Sirenita, you okay? I'm fine, Dad. I'm fine. Oh, I forgot! Did you open the rest of your presents? Oh, yes! How much money did you yeah. get? Yeah! <laughs> A few hundred. <gasps> I'm kidding, it's a few thousand. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you something though. Alex was so cute. Mm -hmm. And you guys look so good together. Mm. He could be my prince any day. He's so hot. <laughs> and tall. Look, you guys, I really don't want to talk about the party, okay? It uh, it reminds me of a nerva. Wait, wait, wait. Do not go soap up over now, okay? Come <laughs> on, come back. Hello. Okay. Hello. And it doesn't matter because mm. I've got the perfect solution. Hmm. After school. Let's go shopping! Oh, yes! Yeah. Let's go spend some of that birthday money. <laughs> That's perfect. Mom oh, my God. Cruising. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that would be absolutely... Oh, my God. I can't. Uh, why? Oh, I forgot. Today's the first day of swim practice. Oh. Uh, okay, fine. We're going to be drinking iced mochas, and you're going to be swallowing pool water. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, honey. We'll save you some, though. Okay. But you promise to check out all the sales for me. Uh, of course. You promise. You know we will. Mocha toast. Mocha toast. Sales. <laughs> oh my god. My two feet. Oh, Luisa! Oh my god. Luisa! Luisa! Oh, Don't sneak up on me like that. Si, senora. Do you really understand me? Si, senora. Yeah, right. I mean, the boy is sick. He should be up in his room, not making a mess all over the house. Look at my foot. <laughs> Joseph, what, what are you doing with that thing? Oh, come here. Come here. Don't, haven't I told you a million times not to touch my things? And, and, and Joseph, dear, I don't want you to miss school again, so don't eat so many sweets. Okay? Now, go to your room. Si, senora. Hello? Oh, hello, darling. Oh, mother, there you are. I, I am so overwhelmed. Oh, I'm kind of overwhelmed myself right at the moment, sweetie. This, this kid, my, my future stepson, is driving me crazy. He's destroying the whole house. I don't know what to do. No, there's not none, though. The whole house? I thought you had those kids under control. I, I, I said no, no, pero. Well, yeah, maybe I was wrong. Just whip them into shape, put your foot down, and show them who's boss. Ah. Children are so unappreciative and so demanding, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> they're great. Mother? Oh, they're wonderful. Uh, I recommend them highly. Well, uh, am I doing the right thing? I mean, is all of this worth it? You have made a very big investment, dear. You have to hang in there until it pays off. You're right, Mother. I made a plan, but I'm going to stick to it. Serena. Thank you for inviting me to your quinceañera. It was beautiful. I met Pepe. <laughs> I'm glad you had a good time. Oh, I wouldn't have missed it. And I know your mother would have been proud. Thank you. 
Have you given any more thought to working with Coach Porter? Yeah. I just don't think I'm ready to leave home yet. But there you'd be getting the best coaching, competing with other great swimmers. You could really develop your gift. Yeah, you sound like you want to get rid of me. Are you kidding me? I'd like nothing better than to keep you here to myself. <laughs> but you've got what it takes. And I think you could take it all the way. Well, I'll think about it. Good. Hey. What? Isn't that the boy from my quinceanera? It's the same guy. I got him that job. Stay here, I'll introduce him to everyone. Gather round, please. I have a few announcements. Gather round. First of all, it's good to see everybody. And I'd like to say that this year, I think we have the chance to do some great things. Some things that you'll be proud of for the rest of your life. If you work very hard. And of course, listen to everything I have to say. <laughs> I'd like y'all to meet Sol Torres. He won district last year in the 200 meter medley. Him? Yes. And we're very lucky to have him here at St. Cecilia's. He's going to be a driving force on the team. So please, everyone make him feel welcome. Thank you. Let's do some good work this year. Okay? Good job, Kelly. That's your best time ever. All right. Okay, good job. You're done for today. What about me, Coach? You're out, too. You're looking sluggish. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. I, uh... I just don't feel like swimming much lately. Well, maybe you plateaued. It's pretty normal. You've been swimming every day for a long time. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, hey, don't worry. It's not like my dad's gonna let me quit. And what your dad thinks is very important. But you have to follow your own heart, honey. You have to be the one that wants to swim. I know that you dedicated last year to your mother. And you did great. But this is a new season. And I know that she would have wanted you to find the motivation from within yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have an idea. So, over here. We should dissect your stroke, okay? I'd like you to work a little with Saul. He's an excellent technical swimmer. He's always got his head in the game. What's up, coach? I want you to take Serena here and look at her stroke. Sure. Okay. Let's start with that. Want to get in the water? Look enchanting. Thank you. Mm. So do you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was so sorry to hear that your royal wedding was called off. Ah, no. Nah. It was gonna make the Charles Die thing look like a shotgun ceremony. Oh, I know. I know. So this is the room we're thinking of for the ceremony. Roco cow. <laughs> Children, we've got some work to do, work to do. I know you could transform this into something fabulous. <sighs> fabulous. It's not good enough for you, Minerva. You deserve a, mm, a miracle. Thank you, Wesley. I must tell you, I'm very demanding. No detail is too small for my touch. We have so little time and so much magic to create. I'm going to be glued to you. All right, 24 hours, 7, we are going to be as one. <laughs> that is so reassuring. But now, uh, I got to go. You guys give her the books. Ta-ta, Clarita. Mm. Come on, Toulouse. Au revoir. Uh, so y you're a, a pool boy. You're a bus boy. How many other jobs do you have? As many as I can get. And what kind of work do you do? 
<laughs> well, um, I do homework. But you know, I'm thinking about giving that up. <laughs> Depends on what you want. Hmm. You know, if you just want to keep living off daddy's money. I'm not like that. Right. Ooh, okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Homeboy. What do you want to do? Hey, I've got my plan. Oh, really? When did your plan consider coming to school here? Ever since Coach Somi got me a scholarship. Scholarship? Ah, so you are her charity case. That's Ooh. right. She got me the job at your party, too. Yeah, well, I don't want to talk about that, okay? Yeah, having a big party in your honor must have been a real drag. Shut up. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, my stepmother to be is a little late. She's always just a little late. Mm. You know I'd give you a ride home in my new car. Uh, that's okay. Except I'm still saving up to buy it. <sighs> so, how are you getting home? The MTA. The what? The Metropolitan Transportation Authority. What's that? You know, it's big, it's got wheels, it's poor people's limo. The bus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I seen one of those come around here at one time or another. You better just go hurry up and catch one, okay? Oh, that's all right. You know, there's one thing about the MTA, there's always another bus coming. And it's always on time. I got held up. Hey, uh, Minerva, do you think that we could give my friend Soul, Soul here a ride home? And uh, where does your friend live? Boyle Heights. East LA? Uh, well, I am very late for my next appointment. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. Let's go, darling. Come on. Sorry. <sighs> East LA, not without a police escort. And what is that kid doing at your school anyway? Is he legal? Yeah, he's legal, he's a student. And I suppose you like him? Yeah, we're thinking about getting married. Oh yeah, well, I can just picture you living in a shack in the barrio, <laughs> collecting welfare. Look, I don't even know him, okay? Well, Serena, my advice to you is don't get to know him. Waste of time. Well. I don't need your advice. Thank you. Fine. Fine. Music? Yeah. Ay, gracias, Luisa. De nada. Well, I like your uniform. But I would lose the hat. Gracias. <laughs> What is this? Coco Van. Coco what? It's chicken, son. Doesn't look like the chicken Luisa cooks. Well, Luisa did cook it. I asked her to spread her wings and try something a little um, more refined. <laughs> Your father and I are planning to entertain some very sophisticated people. That'll be all for now. Thank you, Luisa. Thank you for this wonderful meal Minerva has had Luisa prepare. Bless this that you've given us, and thank you for this fine food. Amen. So how was your first day at swim practice? Uh, it was fine. Coach Stone just said if you try real hard, you might be able to bring your time down enough to qualify for the Olympic trials. Yeah, Dad, I like Coach Sonia, but... You know, sometimes she expects a little too much. You know, it's in your blood. Your mother was a champion. I know, Dad. You ought to be the best that you can be. Joseph, don't drink your water so fast. More water, please. <coughs> Lisa forgot the water again. Lisa! Oh, it's okay, darling. I go get it. <coughs> Just a little salty. Yeah, you think? Mm. Me. 
So, Serena, have you told your father about your new best friend? He's not my best friend. Who's that? The Cholo boy. The kid from East L.A. East L.A.? And the only reason I was talking to him was because you were so late picking me up. Oh, I'm sorry, Serena. I was taking care of little Joseph here, and I lost track of time. <laughs> you know, Serena, I mean, it may not be right, but people are going to judge you by the company that you keep. Yeah, well, judge yourself, Dad. That's enough. That's it. You do eat. I can't. Yes, you can eat. It tastes bad. You know what, darling? Maybe we should keep Luisa just as a housekeeper, and then we hire some new staff. Someone who is more familiar with European cuisine. <laughs> you know, Luisa is part of this family. Ted, next thing you know, she's gonna want to get rid of the cats. Yeah, maybe she already did. <laughs> That's enough, right? <laughs> I bet eat. Tastes bad. Just the vegetables, then, right? I don't feel good. Don't do this. Come on, eat. I don't, I don't feel so good, man. Joseph, please, if uh, you don't feel well, why don't you go up to your room? Can I? Go to your room. Can I go too? No. I don't want us to eat like a family. Yeah, well, if you take the bonus rooms, you turn them into bathrooms, you can get 25% more on your condos. Just the corner units. Yeah. Redraw them. Talk to you in the morning. Talk to you then. Yep. Good night. Good night. I thought you guys would be asleep right now. We would be, um, but actually, Dad, we kind of want to talk to you. It's better be an apology. You guys acted really bad tonight. Sit down. Now, Minerva took a little bit of time tonight to prepare something special. You guys almost spit in her face. We like Luisa's cooking when she's cooking what we like. Minerva is trying to fit in. She's trying really hard. I know, Dad. The thing is that Peppy and I have been talking. We don't think you should marry Minerva. Well, I can't say that I haven't been expecting this one. Sit down. I've been trying really hard to do the best I can for all of us. I know, Dad, and it's not that. It's just that Minerva's like, she's like the evil sea witch. Sit down again. I'm not finished. I don't want to ever hear you speak like that about anyone, especially not Minerva. Do you understand that? Now, I can't say that Minerva's a little bit strong at times. Yes, but I like that. Dad! Okay, she takes charge. Now, she's very smart, she's got great taste, and she loves us. She does Come on. Okay, she's a little overwhelmed, but I gotta tell you, as soon as we get married, she's gonna settle down and we're gonna have a happy family. <sighs> Buster girls. Hi. How you doing? Nice pants. What are they? I'll talk to you later, huh? Okay. Odele. Serena, what are you doing? What are you thinking talking to that guy? It looks like his dad sells oranges by the freeway or something. <laughs> yeah. I mean he could even live in East LA or something. Yeah, he exactly. he does. What? Uh-huh. No. Serena, what if he's in a gang? You know what, as a matter of fact, he is in a gang. And, and you know what? I, I'm going cruising with his homeboys today after school. You guys want to go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are kidding, right? Yeah. I'll bring you back a bag of oranges. Wait a minute. She's not kidding. The first fee is only going to cost 20000 that's a first fee, 20000 It's just a little play money to get the ball up and rolling. What does the ball game cost? <clears throat> We're talking about everlasting love. Do you want me to add that up for you? 
better be good. It's gonna look like you swindled me when I tell you about the theme. <laughs> Early California. We transformed the house into a Spanish mission. <laughs> the servants dress as Native Americans, and the priest has a little shaved head on top. You, Minerva, are the hot-blooded daughter of a Spanish governor. And Nestor. Oh, Nestor. You appear on a horse, and you're wearing black, with a cape and a sword, and you're slashing. The mark of Z. The theme is Zorro. Do you love it? No. <gasps> Next door. I am not gonna play Zorro at my wedding. Right. You know he's right. Zorro's it's just a little bit out of your range. Just poquito. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh, I'll do one better. <laughs> All right. The Mexican Revolution. <laughs> a man rises to lead the people and marries the fairest maiden. Big sombrero. Oh, the biggest. Bandoleros with bullets. Lots of bullets. And I am. Alamiano Zapato. <gasps> Emiliano Zapata. Emiliano. Oh, you're so clever. <laughs> Emiliano. <laughs> work on the theme just a little bit. What? Where are you I'm going? going? To work. What? Darling. You guys get it together, right? I am so sorry. I'm so embarrassed. And... Do you have any club soda? Yeah. Uh, Luisa! 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 Head in the water. You can't get your feet so deep. You got a problem with this? Yeah, I got a problem with this. I'm sick of being on the team. Come on, quit your whining, get your spoiled butt back in the pool. Come on. Don't talk to me that way. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to bow before I spoke to the princess? What is your problem? My pro My problem is your attitude. My attitude? I'm not the one walking around like, yo, I'm Mr. Bad. Hey, yo, I know Mr. Bad, and he sure isn't me. Well, right, he's just like, what, what, like the toughest guy in your gang or something? And so now I'm in a gang? Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Now, you and your friends, you take it all for granted, don't you? Oh, well, look who's whining now, huh? Come on. You're fast, Elena. I wish I had as much God-given ability as you do. You'd be so much faster if you just worked at it. You know what? Maybe I don't want to work at it anymore. I mean, maybe, maybe I'd rather be doing something else. What, like going shopping and spending your daddy's money? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, let's just get to work. Let's do it. That looked great. Good. What are you doing? Well, aren't we done yet? Come on. Everybody left hours ago. You want to do what everybody else does? <sighs> or do you want to win? Please. <sighs> it's like my father says. El que quiere su celeste, que le cueste. Meaning what? Meaning, if you want the sky painted blue, you got to paint it yourself. Yeah, you know what? Everybody says that, but nobody ever really does anything about it. Hey, some people do. <sighs> Eres el arquitecto de tu destino. Translation, por favor. <laughs> You're the architect of your own destiny. Is that another quote from your father? That one's from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you say? I say... Why don't you come to my house for dinner? Me? Come on, come to your house for dinner. <laughs> yeah, I know. East LA, huh? Too much reality for a little rich girl? 
I don't have a problem with that. Oh, you don't? No. You know, maybe you could ask your stepmother to drop you off, huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's me. I I'm fine. Um, listen, I got a, I got a favor to ask you. I I'm going to tell my dad that I'm, I'm going over to your house for dinner tonight. No. Um, God, I'm going somewhere else. Well, I can't tell you. Okay, 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 but, um, promise me you're not going to tell anybody. You have to swear. Pretty good with plants. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Buenas tardes. You made it. Yeah. Serena, this is me, Papa. Ramon Torres. Mucho gusto. Oh, nice to meet you. Come on, meet the rest of us. We've grown 44 fruit trees. Oh, this looks wonderful. <laughs> I'm glad you like it because it's how I make my living. <laughs> looks like you know what you're doing. Yeah, it keeps them out of trouble. <laughs> Here, try this. Mmm, thank you. <laughs> Mama, she's here. Huh? Look at you, Grandma. She gets me in the house. I haven't seen your mother in days. Hi, no, go clean up. It's time to eat. Let's go Come on, go wash up. <laughs> this is my wife, Anna, Sirena Garcia. Hi, Sirena. So nice to meet you. Welcome to our home. Thank you. Nice to meet you. It smells wonderful in here. See? Oh, come here. Taste. Have yeah, yeah. Taste. Yeah. Okay. Careful. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Delicious. Not too salty? No. Oh, good. Please, go, go, go inside. Want your coat off? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, abuelita. Buenas mm. noches. Sirena, this is my grandma. Grandma, this is Sirena. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Now, I find this interesting. They name you for the mermaid, and my son's name means son. Oh, the son. I thought Sol was short for Solomon because he's so wise. <laughs> <laughs> really? Did he tell you that? Come on, help me out here, Bob. Uh, I think you're on your own, son. Here we are. Ramon. Las manos, por favor. Great creator of us all, we ask you to bless this food, all those who have helped to provide it, and those who partake of it. And we ask your blessing, and thank you for the visit of this wonderful guest, Sirena. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Spirit of Amen. 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 Let's eat! 
Mm. Here we go. Oh. Albondigas. Albondigas. What does that mean? Mm. Meatballs. <laughs> Meatballs. Oh. <laughs> Meatballs. <laughs> All right, son. Let's go. There's a battle to be fought. Battle? Con dinero y sin dinero, siempre hago lo que quiero. Y mi palabra es la ley. Look. I don't want to get her in trouble, but I just got really worried about her. Of course, dear, you did the right thing. Yeah, I'll be there in about five minutes. That was Coach Sonia. I'm gonna go by and pick her up. She knows where the boy lives. I don't understand how she even got there. How did she get there? Uh, oh, I don't know if I should tell you. Oh, yes, you will tell us. Tell us. She, uh... She took the bus. The bus? The bus. Yeah, the bus. I'm gonna kill him. You're gonna kill him because your daughter went to his house for dinner? Sonia, I'm gonna hold you personally responsible if anything's gone wrong. Fine, but you know what? The problem is not with the boy. Don't talk to me about problems. I got a kid that gets on a bus and goes into East L.A. by herself. Okay, I know. But, I mean, people still live there, Nestor. Here, Avenida uh, Cesar Chavez is coming up. Turn right and then make another right at Soto. I was born and raised here, okay? On the corner of Fresh in Indiana. I know where I am. Okay, fine. I worked hard to get out of here and I never looked back. Well, maybe you should. I should have turned back. I didn't know they made the street yeah. into one way street. I oh, told you. Man. There it is. It's the house right up there on the left. Garcia, it's nice to meet you. Don't get wise with me, young man. Nessar, get a hold of yourself. Sirena, get out of this. Buenas noches. Hi, Dad. You lied to me. Then you had your friends lie to me. Okay, I would have asked you, but I knew that you would say no. What are you thinking about? What was your head? Yeah, well, I liked it there. Well, I liked it there, and I like it a lot better than here. You like it there better? Fine. You're grounded for two months. What? And you will not see anyone, including that boy. Dad, that doesn't make any sense. That's totally not fair. Don't even begin to think you will. I'm going home. Sorry for you. Don't feel anything for me. Serena, just because you hate me doesn't mean we can't work together. What do you mean? 
I know you like a bus boy. I mean, you're 15 years old. You ought to be able to do as you please. So if I felt like it, I can make your father see it that way too. You could. Mm -hmm. Yes, but only if we can make a deal. Okay, so what do you want? I am marrying your father whether you like it or not. I am so sick of all the problems you cause. Serena, you promise to stay out of my way. I'll make sure your father gives you the freedom that you want. After all, it's your life. So, Serena. Can we make a deal? Yeah. Deal. Serena is now 15 years old, so she's fighting for the freedom to establish her own identity. Well, that's why I have to be firm with her, so she, I can give her good direction. I think she'll learn better if you give her more freedom than less. I think she'll run straight for the boy. Yeah, yeah, she will. But you know, I've been thinking that that boy... Come here, let me give him a massage. That boy is a scholarship student, so maybe he's not that bad, even if his family is poor. You're poor, but, boy, they have a very nice house. They take care of it. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Yeah, but to give a 15-year-old girl the right to do whatever she wants, it's not right. I feel that you should let her test the waters, sink or swim. Yeah, but what if she sinks? <laughs> Sooner or later, she'll swim. And if she messes up, well, we talked about sending her to boarding school. Yeah. But she'll be off to college soon enough. So how does it feel, darling? Any better? Just scared, I guess. No, I'm talking about my massage. <laughs> Hi, Serena. Hi, Serena. Serena, Gilda was only trying to help. I just got so nervous sitting at home and thinking about you going into that neighborhood and getting on that bus. You know, people ride that bus every day, and they're fine. Sorry, it's a really am. I feel like I've gotten you in trouble. Well, actually, you might have helped me out. She did? I did? <laughs> My dad told me now that I can do whatever I want. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's great. Wow. That's so pretty cool. I guess. So, you guys want to go shopping after school today? Yeah. Sure. Dad, don't you have swim practice? Yeah. See ya at three. See ya. See, told ya. <laughs> did not. Oh, I did. No. Come on. Okay. Hi. So, huh. the Little Mermaid got into some hot water. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. <laughs> really? It looked like your father wanted to rearrange my face. Yeah, until your grandmother stepped in. She's kind of tough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I never got a chance to thank you for inviting me to your house for dinner. You get an MTV pass, you can come back. MTA. That's right. Maybe I will. Good. So, um, 
Thank you. I, I had a great time. Yeah. I guess I did too. Um, remember when you said that you should make the most of everything? Yeah. Would this be one of those times? the theme Mr. and Mrs. Garcia get married. I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> Please. Oh, Luke was home. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, Nestor. Um, you have an idea? Nestor? Nestor, do you have an idea? Just don't make it Zapata Zorro. What about a San Joaquin Valley farm worker motif, huh? We boycott grapes at the reception, hmm? No. <sighs> he doesn't like any of my themes? It's not that. I just don't like the stereotypical, that's all. <gasps> oh, 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 That's it. I'm out of here. Adios. Ta-ta. Have your own <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> I need you. Please don't go. Don't go. Nestor! Silence! Silence! <sighs> Gentlemen, the wedding gods. <sighs> Wedding gods, wedding gods, wedding gods, wedding gods, wedding gods, wedding gods. Oh! Ah! Ta -ta. Black and white. Hm. Vamos. We staged the whole wedding in black and white. Simple, elegant, minimalist. Less is more. That means uh, less is going to cost me more, right? Oh, Nestor, never mind that. Okay, the bridesmaids, are they gonna be in black or white? No, 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 no bridesmaids, no groomsmen. It'll just steal the focus away from you, the bride. Oh, Chiquita. Uh. <laughs> I only wish we'd get rid of the priest. The priest stays. Fine, fine, fine. We'll make him a bishop. <laughs> Alas, we finally have a theme. Boy, if I please, 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 please. Oh, please, Nestor. Black and white. Yes, yes. Thanks. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you do on your test? I got an F. I flunked. Ouch. What? No way. Great, now your dad's gonna have to sign it. <laughs> He's gonna be so upset. No problem. There. He signed it. Serena, what is up with you? You know, I can't believe you're practically dating this guy, Serena. Huh? Well, he's got some friends if you're interested. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're totally not interested, okay? I mean, it's bad enough you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> okay, you know what? You guys can keep on living your little 90210 land, but uh, I'm living la vida loca, baby. Bye. Hmm. You know, that's, that's interesting, Mother, because I think uh, the kids hate me, and uh, sometimes I feel like I might, um, like I might hate them, too. It's okay. Hate everybody. Está bien. It's okay? Read Chapter 4. Don't be afraid to hate. A are you sure? Why do you think I sent you the book? All right. <laughs> Go on, get it off your chest. Oh, I hate them! Yeah, it's great, okay. Oh. Now, how do you feel? Wow. What a relief. See? <laughs> yeah. Uh, chee chee. See? Mother, I I'm, I'm losing you again. Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Oh. Hold on a second. Hello? Hi, this is Sonia Raphael. Who? Coach Sonia. Serena Swain coach? Oh, yes. Is Nestor there? Uh, no, I'm sorry, but uh, Mr. Garcia is not available. Well, I wanted to talk to him about Serena. She's missed a lot of practice lately, and I may be forced to drop her from the team. Uh, excuse me, Miss uh, Raphael, but um, I'm on the other line. Okay. Could you have Mr. Garcia call me back, please? Oh, absolutely. Goodbye. Hello, Mother. Mother. Oh, I never should have put her on hold. Why? Did somebody else call? Uh, nobody, really. 
just some wedding details. Yes. Yes, I was home. Oh, the machine is on. Mother. Serena, what are you doing? Waiting for the bus. <laughs> what? I thought you said we were going to a surprise party. Uh, yeah, we are. Okay, well, where's the party? <laughs> See, that's the surprise. We're taking the MTA. The what? The Metropolitan... The bus. <sighs> oh, no, no, no. I'm not going on any bus. Come on. And you know uh -huh. I'm not. Serena, next time you want to try and surprise me, don't. going to East LA. What? Really? No. <laughs> Serena, that is not funny. It's majorly not oh funny. God. Yeah. <laughs> the address should be right. Right? Oye, mamacita. You're looking good. Ay, chihuahua. Do you know how to speak the Latin lingo? No way. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Ladies? Jiggy, 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 Jiggy. Nice. This is ridiculous. Don't worry, this will be fun. Serena, let's go. This is cool. <laughs> Cars look old. Hi. I am not going in there. I don't think so. Come yeah. on. Only half these guys have been in prison. What? Serena? What? They've been reformed? So... <laughs> I think. Oh. Oh. I'm glad you could make it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. No problem. Oh, you remember Rose and Gilda? Hi, Rose and Gilda. Hi. Hi. These are my friends, Eduardo and Manny. Hi. Hi. Church? Yeah. Now I know we're going to be going late tonight, but I hope they all remember that we have afternoon mass tomorrow. And you better be there or else. Amen. Amen. All right. May the Lord be with you. Let's hit it. Hi. Hi. Punch? No, thank you. Cookies? No, really, I'm fine. You're free. Thank you, Punch. All right. Excuse me. You know, I... can't expect this party to be different. Different how? I don't know, I mean, I didn't expect a church. And your father to be here? I mean, I don't know. I just... Listen, Sirena, these people may be different than what you're used to, but they're mostly the same as anybody else. And they just want to have a good time. Yeah, I know. Or can we just get some air? Please. Yeah. You came tonight. 
You haven't been in practice much. Yeah, well, don't tell Coach Sonia, but I'm quitting the team. Okay. It's too much work for you? No, I, just, I can do whatever I want. If it's not important to you, then go ahead. You know, you're, you're like Mr. Bad on the outside, but Mr. Goody Two-Shoes on the inside. He finds you, then, and do whatever. I mean, if you don't value what you have, then you don't deserve it. Right. Now, now you sound just like my dad. And what's wrong with that? You know, I hope that someday I can be as successful as your father. Oh, really? So what, so you, so you can work all the time, ignore your family? And my dad is getting married to a two-faced witch in, in about a week. It's not success to me. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Yeah, well then don't say anything, huh? Fine. Then you don't need me, right? No, I don't need you. You know, I, I don't need anybody. That's not true. I, just, I gotta, I gotta go. But you just got here. He doesn't care anyway. I'm out.
miss it? Two o'clock. I have to be up at five, so I can be at mass by six, so I can see an architect by eight. Okay, so go to sleep. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about you. Are you kidding? It's all I do. Do you know why? No. Why? Because when I call Gilda up, wondering where you are, she starts to cry. And then when I call Rosa up, and she tells me that you got out of the taxi cab in Hollywood, and you're going to walk home by yourself. How stupid is that? Look, Dad, I get home, okay? I don't know where to begin with you. I called Sonia. Yeah, she told me that you quit the swim team without talking to her or to me. And your grades have gone down the tubes. God, what is that? It's blue hair. <sighs> Maybe Minerva's right. Maybe you should go to boarding school. You know what? Fine with me. Oh, really? It would be better than here. Sit down. Please. Sit down. Listen. Okay. It all started with that kid. Oh, come on. Dad, this has nothing to do with him. He, you don't even know him. I mean, I know him, but I know the world he comes from. And I've worked hard to keep you as far away from that as possible. So what, so nothing good can come out of there? Didn't you come from there? I'm sorry, didn't Mom marry a boy from the barrio? Everyone keeps telling me that what I'm doing isn't right. But Dad, you won't even listen to me when I'm trying to tell you that what you're doing isn't right. Stayed out of the way, okay? Until now. And you want to know why? Daddy, you made a deal. What are you talking about? What deal? Nothing. Never mind. Forget about it. Sit in. What are you doing? Forget about it. You wouldn't believe me anyway. Sirena! Hey. I'm sorry. Sirena! Come down! What are you doing here? Nice wig. Yeah, well, I don't want to talk about that, okay? Huh? Okay. Why are you here? Show you my new wheels. <laughs> um, they don't look too new. <laughs> Get in the car. Why? Where are we going? Some place I think you need to go. Come on. Um. <sighs> Get in the car. Kids in my neighborhood who've never been to the beach. Really? I mean, it's only 10 or 15 miles away. 
guess some people don't like to get out of their own little fish bowls. Yeah, well, you should have seen me, Rosa, and Gilda trying to ride the bus for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> You want to go swimming? Yeah, this. You got your gym back from school. How'd you get that? I got my connections. Huh. <laughs> Maybe. Down the beach in a long time. Feels like another life. Feels kind of cold for swimming. Well, the water feels warmer than you think. Once you're in it. And my mom used to say, the spirit of God moves upon the face. Of the waters. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's from the Bible. I've never heard you talk about your mother before. Yeah, we don't talk about her very much. Why? It's her memories that keep things alive. So much fun when we would come to the beach. You still can. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. so hard losing you. Now I feel like I'm losing Dad, too. I started to think I was all grown up. I just, I wasn't sure how to let go of you and not lose myself. But now I feel you'll always be here. Inside of me. To move forward with my life, honey. I need a wife. But Minerva? Yes. <laughs> Look, you probably feel this way no matter who I marry. Oh, Dad, I, I don't think so. I, I think that you should wait. You know, you could just give it some time, no. just like six more months. I'm not or... gonna wait. 
All right? I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to wait. Minerva and I are going to get married on Saturday. Okay. Look, I just want you to be happy, okay? I just... I hope marrying Minerva will be everything that you want it to be. Me too. <clears throat> Coach? Serena, hi. Hi. I like this look better. Yeah, my dad does too. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. So, what brings you here? Look, um... I know I've been acting kind of weird lately. And I lied to you. And I missed a ton of practice. And I, I don't know, I, I guess... In some way, I was kind of doing what you said. What I said? Follow my heart. It led me back here. I want to be on this team again. I want to swim. See. I'm willing to work as hard as you want me to. I'll, I'll work overtime. I want to take this as far as we can. Shave off one more second. Let's see, one come on. Yeah. Go. Hi, mommy. It's all working out. The girl has finally agreed to go to boarding school. Yes. I'm doing whatever I want, and I'm feeling great about it. You were right. <laughs> These worthless brats are going to get a major dose of reality. <laughs> Hold on a second. Have you been listening to my private conversation? No, I was being worthless as usual. Oh, you brat! Come here! Come here, you little brat! Come here! Give me that! Hey, that belongs to my mother! Oh, really? Well, she's not here. She's dead. That's mine, you evil sea witch. Take it. Take it! You shouldn't leave your toys lying around. Someone might step on them. Oh, you demon! I can't believe you. That's my father's. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you, and I hate you. Oh, Mom, did you hear that? That kid is such a beast. He's next for my boarding school list. Anyway, what did you buy me today? It's okay. It's just a tape player. It's the one Mom gave us. Well, don't worry. We, we, we can get another one. But it won't be the same. Well, you know... Uh, we, still, we still have the tapes. Huh? We still have the tapes. You know, and those, those tapes, they still have Mom's voice on them. They still have her. <laughs> And no one can ever take that away from us, ever, ever.
Hester, I thought uh, Serena told you she wasn't seeing that boy anymore. Yeah, she said he, he was too much like me. Well, come take a look. You know, you were right. Look at that piece of junk. He's parking in front of our house. It's embarrassing. Where are you going? I want to go talk to the boy. Good. Give him a piece of your mind. You know, Pepe, you behave. I might introduce you to one of my sisters. Ew. Think you might like Camelia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess <laughs> <laughs> that. How you guys doing? Good, sir. So is this 69? Yes, sir. 396? She's got it. I put a mild RV cam for more power. So did I. We used to call them 227s. It's clean. Who does the work? Me and my father, sir. Hmm. A lot of memories. All right, but don't try to leave until Wesley has approved everything. All right? I've arrived. Thank you, lady. <laughs> oh, have no fear, Minerva. Mm, Wesley is here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was starting to panic. Now, before we begin, Minerva, there's just a little matter of... Yes, 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 yes. Your final check. <laughs> Maybe I'm too. <laughs> I don't let me even look at it. Oh, Wesley. I'm so excited. <laughs> Minerva, don't worry. You're going to have a wonderful wedding. I know, I know, <laughs> thanks to you. But now I have to go. Go? <gasps> what do you mean, go? To the Copenhagen! The wedding of the Danish princess is back on. But, but today? Now? I mean, my wedding is today. I'm sorry, when true royalty summons. <gasps> you can't do this to me! I'm sorry, baby, but you're no princess. Hi, chica. <sighs> my limo. Luisa! Luisa! You stupid peasant! How many times have I told you to wear your uniform? A million times. I speak English! I just did! Oh, you mujer está loca! And God, I welcome all of you. Now it is with extreme pleasure I introduce Minerva Rojas, the bride. La musique, s'il vous plaît. Worthless brats are going to get a major dose of reality. <laughs> hey, that belongs to my mother. Well, she's not here. She's dead. I hate them. <laughs> the girl has finally agreed to go to boarding school. That I'm feeling great about it. <laughs> Come here, you little brat. Come here, come here, you little brat! <laughs> 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 
I got you! Yeah. <laughs> Give me that! I don't think so. Well, look who's here, the barrio boy. What are you gonna do, knife me? How about this barrio boy? Nestor. Me oíste? Nestor, please don't regress. I think you should leave. I, uh, you can't call off the wedding. Not now. I just did. But you, you need me, Nestor. You need me. I'm going to take care of your kids. That's my responsibility. Fine. Keep your little dysfunctional family. I will find somebody else with no kids and more... Mother, Oliva, Oliva.